Ecclesiastes chapter 3 For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What profit has he who works in that in which he labors? I have seen the burden which Elohim has given to the sons of men who be afflicted with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in their hearts. Yet so that man can't find out the work that Elohim has done from the beginning even to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to rejoice and to do good as long as they live. Also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy good in all his labor is the gift of Elohim. I know that whatever Elohim does it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it nor anything taken from it, and Elohim has done it, that men should fear before him, that which is has been long ago, and that which is to be has been long ago, and Elohim seeks again that which is passed away. Moreover I saw under the sun, in the place of justice that wickedness was there, and in the place of righteousness that wickedness was there. I said in my heart, Elohim will judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart, As for the sons of men, Elohim tests them, so that they may see that they themselves are like animals. For that which happens to the sons of men happens to animals. Even one thing happens to them. As the one dies, so the other dies. Yes, they have all one breath, and man has no advantage over the animals, for all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knows the spirit of man, whether it goes upward, and the spirit of the animal, whether it goes downward to the earth. Therefore I saw that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his work, for that is his portion, for who can bring him to see what will be after him?